lead and to make sure he rescued the people of Israel from the hands of the Pharaoh, the Egyptian, from Egypt. In uh, Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 it says, The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. Teachers, God has called you. You are the Moses of belief. And indeed, probably you might have, you might want to have 100% of all the teachers here being part of these activities. But just, if you have the time to read Exodus from chapter 3 to chapter 12, you will also see how Moses went through a lot of struggles. He went alone, along with Aaron, and uh, the difficulties he had to encounter. Some of the same Israelites were against him, speaking bad about him. Some of the Egyptians were against him. Pharaoh, at the, you could have seen, or you will be able to see that Pharaoh, from time to time, used to make promises to Moses and to, uh, used to tell Moses, Moses, this will be the last time we're going to fix the problem. Just call to God and, and things will be solved. All of a sudden, Pharaoh changes mind again. This is what is going on. Yes. This evening I was really shocked when I heard what was going on. I said, wow, this is what really going on right now. <laughs> but God is an, an almighty God. He is the one who has the last word. But he wants you, Moses, he wants you teachers to stand strong, trusting in him, believing in him. I also just want to share a, a few... Uh, <coughs> Words of encouragement to you about leadership. This was sent to me by John Maxwell, which says, What gives a man or a woman the right to lead? It certainly isn't gained by election or appointment. Having posi position, title, rank, or deg degrees doesn't qualify anyone to lead other people. And the ability doesn't come automatically from age or experience. No, it would be accurate to say that no one can be given the right to lead. The right to lead can only be earned. The key to becoming an effective leader is not to focus on making other people follow, but on making yourself the kind of person they want to follow. And one of the basic points here is, let go your ego. The true great leaders are not in leadership for personal gain. They lead in order to serve others. Teachers, that's what you are doing. You are not fighting only for yourself. You are fighting for our future generation. You are fighting for our children. Many people I just hear or read from comments saying why our children are suffering. But if we don't stand today, if we don't fight for them today, tomorrow it will be worse. Because we are showing our children that we cannot stand for nobody. Or we cannot even stand for ourselves. So teacher, I want to encourage you tonight. Keep strong. Keep trusting in the Lord. God has, calling, God has called you for a purpose. I imagine, uh, probably Moses, when he was going through a lot of problems and discouragement, he would have felt, I say, give up. And probably many of you want to give up. Or, and even when you see your own, probably colleagues, saying things about you. You might be feeling discouraged, you might be saying, okay, let's let it go. But remember, if God has given you a call, if God has chosen you to lead, if God has called you to be that Moses of belief, trust in Him, for He will bring you through. He will make this possible for all of us. Keep trusting in the Lord. I'll ask you to stand as we go to the Lord in prayer tonight.